Hello geometry students. We're going to make a video today of a triangle, well congruent triangles. So congruent triangles have the same shape and the same size. Corresponding parts, the sides and the angles are congruent. And we can write a congruent statement when triangles are congruent. Order matters and must match exactly. So right here is a triangle congruency statement. So um, triangle KAT is congruent to triangle NEW. So I could draw my two triangles. So I would draw them kind of look the same. It doesn't matter though. But I make sure I label it exactly how it's written. So KAT, I'm going to use that same pattern. N E W. Therefore, I can just look and see, okay, K corresponds with N, A corresponds with E, and T corresponds with W. And then I can write the um, congruence part. So angle K is congruent to angle N because those are corresponding. Angle A is congruent to angle E because those are corresponding. And angle T is congruent to angle W because those are corresponding. I can do the exact same thing with the sides. So if I look KA is congruent to NE. KT is congruent to NW. And AT is congruent to EN. So here's another example, too, where you're doing the same thing, but I'm going to show you a different way of doing it. So one way you can always do it is, one, by drawing a picture. So above, that's what I did. I drew the pictures. But another way I can look and see what parts are corresponding is, again, how it's written. That's the reason why order matters, because if I can see how it's written, I can see angle M is corresponding to B. Angle E is corresponding to angle A, and angle L is corresponding to angle H. So angle M is congruent to angle B. Angle E is congruent to angle A. And angle L is congruent to angle H. So I can just get that from the name. That's why it's important when you write your triangle congruence statement or congruency statement, that's why it's important that order matters. Because how it's written, that's telling me which parts correspond. I can do the same thing with sides. ME, which is these first two letters. So psi ME has to be congruent to these first two letters, BA. EL, which is the last two, will be congruent to BA, AH, I'm sorry. Because those are in the same spots. Then I can say ML, the first and the last, is congruent to BH first and the last. So whenever I write a triangle congruency statement, order matters because I can just look at the statement and I can say what parts are congruent. So again, you can do it either way, draw the picture so you can visually see it or look at the way it's written so you can see it. So now when we go to the back side, um, they wrote a triangle congruent statement. So I would label mine A, B, C, and triangle D, E, F. And they want us to solve for X and Y. Well, they told us that AB is 18, so I'm labeling the parts on my triangle. BC is 23. AC is 9X minus 23. DF, they said, is 7X minus 11. And DE is 3Y minus 1. Well, I need to solve for x, so I'm going to need to use the sides that have x in it. So I can see AC has x in it, and it corresponds to DF. So I'm going to use those two. So I'm going to say 9x minus 23 equals 7x minus 11. Okay? Subtract 7x from both sides. 2x minus 23 equals negative 11. Add 23 to both sides. 
2x equals 12, divide by 2, x equals 6. Okay, so that helped me solve for x. I need to solve for y, and I see that DE has the y in it. What corresponds to DE is my AB, so those are the two sides I have to use. So 3y minus 1 equals 18. Add 1 to both sides. 3y equals 19. Divide both sides by 3. Y equals 19 over 3. I'm just going to leave it just like that because I know that that's not going to simplify um, to a whole number. So I'm just going to leave that as my answer. Okay. So I'll do the same thing here. They gave me triangle M E L. And they said it's congruent to B A H. Again, how they named it is important, so that's why I'm labeling it a certain way. So again, I can just look and see the corresponding parts. They tell me that the measure of angle L was 56 degrees. The measure of angle M is 21 degrees. The measure of angle A is 7Y plus 5. They tell me that ML is equal to 25. TS is equal to 14. That means nothing to me because I don't have a TS on here. ME is equal Good to morning, 31. For those of you who missed my first two announcements, Sorry. So ME is 31. And then they tell us that BH is 4X minus 11. So I need to solve for X and Y. I see my X is right here at BH. So I'm going to have to use segment BH. I know that ML is the one that corresponds to it. So those two are equal. So I can say... 4x minus 11 equals 25. Subtract 11 from both sides. I mean, add 11 to both sides. 4x equals 36. Divide by 4. x equals 9. Okay? And now I'll do the same thing for my y. Well, y is right here at this angle, so angle A. I see angle A corresponds with angle E. But I don't know what angle E is. I know that all three angles of a triangle add up to be 180 degrees. So if I add these two together, so 21 plus 56, that's going to be equal to 78. I mean 77. And then if I subtract that from 108, I mean 180, that gives me 103. So this third angle is 103. Again, how did I get that? I added these two numbers together and subtracted it from 180. That told me is 103. So if angle E is 103, then I know that angle A has to be equal to that. So I would have 7Y plus 5 equals 103. Subtract 5 from both sides. 7Y equals 98. Divide by 7. Y equals 14.